Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Este, le quería pedir ayuda para una cosa que le envío por el WhatsApp. No sé si me puede ayudar rapidito. Solo es una oración. Es que es en la plataforma, pero la pongo a diferentes formas y no le hallo. Y solo es una. No, the problem is that I don't have my phone here. Oh, este... De pasar de pasarla al pasado. Uh -huh. por, ejemplo, por ejemplo, la oración está I found ten dollars on the street. Y yo uh -huh. la pongo en pasado, I didn't find ten dollars on the street. Pero me la pone mala. Y las otras están igual. Por ejemplo, I went to the beach last weekend. Yo le pongo I didn't go to the beach last weekend. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, it is. Está correcta, ¿verdad? pero no me da paso. Me yeah. la pone mala. ¿no? no, it has to be correct. It has to be correct. Okay, I'm I'm going to try to, give me just a second. I'm going to ask for my phone because I don't so have la, it. En la, el ejercicio 12 de la plataforma. Okay, if you can share your screen. Can you share your screen? No, I don't because uh, this. Uh, <laughs> no tengo, tengo muchos archivos en el celular. Entonces no me cargan <laughs> las imágenes. 
Okay. Uh -huh. But later I'm gonna I'm gonna ask for my my phone and then I'm going to tell you, right? But uh, but as what okay. I have said, it is supposed that you have to get it correct. Okay. But we will see. Okay. 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 Okay, guys, so now that he is mentioning that, you have to uh, advance in your activities in the platform, right? Remember that uh, tomorrow we have like the two weeks. So it means that we are in the half, in the middle of the course tomorrow. And if we are in the middle of the course, it means that we need to work in the exercises that we have in the platform, right? Don't forget, don't forget that. Uh, I have been checking and uh, some of you are with the uh, 20%, but just like around two or three students, right? The other ones, I think that you are working on them. But let us try to, to, to work on them. Okay, guys, when you have, when most of the class is as listeners, this is getting harder because this is like, I am going to explain only and I am the only one who is going to speak because I have nine, eight participants and only two can participate. You make me this difficult, right? But anyways, <clears throat> okay? I have only two people who can participate in the class, in the class. Because I think that when you do not participate, this is not a class, this is a presentation. But anyways, that is what you really want. That's what I'm gonna do, okay? Um, from yesterday, we uh, were studying about uh, the modal auxiliaries made and might. And that is why we were working with some exercises. And then uh, I have some of them and I'm going to upload it there in the chat box. And that is for you to work with them. We are not going to work in them in here because since we, uh, I have only two or three participants, I think that we are not going to, to do it here, right? But anyways, I'm going to upload it. Let me just look for it. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Berta. I'm just looking for a file. Okay, this material, the one that I have already uploaded, it is just for you to work as extra activities, right? You work with them, you complete it, <clears throat> and then maybe tomorrow we are going to check it, right? But this is just okay. for you to have it. Now, Okay, guys, we are going to start with uh, our lesson number nine from this course. As I, as I was telling you, tomorrow we got like the middle of the course. So try to be ready and updated with your activities, right? Now for today's class, we have this objective. 
that it is going to be kind of uh, useful because uh, we are going to be like using uh, vocabulary that is related to socializing vocabulary. And uh, we are going to start with this. What is this? What is wood? It's an auxiliary. It is a modal auxiliary, yes. And this is in orange because it says that letter L is silent. So it means that we are not going to pronounce it. So we are going to say wood. 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 Okay. Wood. This is exactly the same pronunciation for They are pronounced exactly the same. I say wood and I say wood. Wood, wood. Wood, wood. But now, if this is a modal auxiliary, I need to understand that I have to use it in different context. This modal auxiliary indeed has a variety of contexts in which we can be use it. We have wood that equals being polite in asking permissions. This is just a way of we can use it. Indeed, we have to hear being polite and asking permissions. But we will find out many more. When we combined the model auxiliary would plus like, I say, I would like. It is the same if I want to say, I want, but in a polite way. Polite way. I want, how can I say? I want a glass of water. But I don't say that I want a, a glass of water. I'm going to say, I would like a glass of water. If I change it, I need to understand that I am being polite. And being polite means that we need to look for the appropriate modal verb. All of them are modal verbs, all of them. I have would, will, should, shall, can, could, may, might, must. During our classes, we have been studying different modal auxiliaries. We have studied can, Call, could, may, my, my. And what about should? Okay. But now we are we are including wood. Wood. This modal verb. 
This is the one that we are going to study during this class. Wood. We are going to have like uh, certain tips for us to understand the way that we need to use it. For example, I'm going to use the modal verb would with all the subjects. In this case, are going to be all the pronouns. For instance, I. Yo, he, she, it, third person singular, we, and they. And as you can see here, I have wood, 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 and wood. In all of them, I am using wood. Do I have to change or modify in the third person singular? No, I don't have to. I keep working with it exactly the same as I do with all of the pronouns. I don't change anything. So I'm going to say, I would, you would, he would, she would, you would, we would, they would. Can I contract it? Sure, you can contract it. We can have I'd, you'd, he'd, she'd, it, we'd, they'd. Contracted way. If I say I'd, I'm saying I would. You'd. Contracted Yes, this is the contraction for would, right? So I say I'd, you'd, he'd, she'd, I'd, we'd, they'd. It sounds weird, but that is the correct way that we have to pronounce it. Pronounce them, all of them. If we want to use, of course, the contracted way. After that, I can say, so if would is a modal verb, how am I going to use it? Or what for? In which context am I going to use them? I would say, I would like to visit Budapest or they would like to try skiing. But this is something that it is not true in the present. This is something that you want from the future. But this can happen or it cannot happen, but there is something that you wish. That is something that you want. You want to visit Budapest. They want to try skin. Think about two activities that you want to do. Two activities that you want to do in a near future. And then I want you to type in the, in the chat box, those two activities that you want to do. Okay, I'm gonna wait your participation in the chat box.
Okay. I would like to swim every day. I'd like to travel next year. I would like to buy a car. I will run again. Oh, yes. I would like to eat pizza tomorrow. <laughs> it means that you are hungry, Valerie. <laughs> okay. I would like to eat my dinner. <laughs> You're hungry, Rose, too. And Osvaldo, he would like to buy a car, too. So you have the same, like, wish as Jennifer. Oh, okay, I will, I will, I will like to use the bicycle normal again. So it means that you cannot do it, Berta? No. Not anymore? No. Because, because of your knee? Porque tengo limitante en el movimiento. Okay, of your knees. No cómo se dice. Okay, okay. You got some trouble with your knees. Okay? Yes. Okay. At least you have to ride a bike. Right? I have right. never I have never ride a bike. Uh, okay. I have, I have never Okay, riding a bike, but at least you have done it, and that is something good. Okay, so now we understand that this would like is related to the um something that you want. A possibility. But, yeah, that is a possibility in the near future. Also, it says that we can use would like to offer something to somebody, right? Okay. For example, for example, would you like some coffee? No, thank you. Would you like chocolate? Yes. Yes, please. <laughs> what would you like to eat or at what would you like, tea or coffee? Coffee, please. <laughs> For me too. Coffee, please. <laughs> would you like an apple? Would you like uh, a mango? Would you like... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. And then you say, no, thanks. Would you like a cup of tea? Yes, please. So you are offering... So in this case, we are using would you like as a question, right? As a question. This is mainly used in the restaurants when we are going to eat, right? Maybe also the, the waiter or the waitress, they are going to use this kind of vocabulary. Or maybe when you have a visit in your house, a friend of you um, can get to your house and then you can offer something to drink, something to eat. So this is an offering. Then I have uh, an invitation. When you want to invite someone to a place and then you say, would you like to go for a walk? Would you like to come to dinner? What would you like to do this evening? Would you like to stay with us? What would you like to go tonight? What would you like to drink? In here, what would you like to drink? It is that you are offering, right? This is not an invitation. Would you like to come to the concert next week? That is the invitation different contexts in which the same modal auxiliary has different contexts. Mm -hmm. 
we continue inviting. But now, as we did in this one, with different kind of questions, now we are giving a little bit more. We are saying, we are not just saying yes or no. We are giving a little bit more in some of the examples that we have here. We are having a picnic next Friday. Would you like to come? Yes, of course. Now we have the context into the question and the answers. Would you like to eat with us on Sunday? Yes, I would love to eat with you. You see, now the answer, it's different. It is not that, yes. No, I would love to eat with you. This is a very polite answer. Very polite question, very polite answer. Would you like to go to the cinema with me tomorrow? No thanks, I don't like to watch movies. This kind of answer, it is, it's acceptable only if you have the confidence with your friends. But if you don't have that confidence, maybe the other person might be, there's a possibility, that person might be or might feel offended. A good question, a good answer can be, I would, I would like to, but something else. I would like to, but I have something to do. I would like to, but I have to work. I would like to, but uh, I need to do any errands. You decide. So I said, whenever we have that confidence with a person, we can say, no, I don't like it because that person can be offended. But can we use it? Of course that we can use, no, thanks. Another one, I would like to go to Turkey this summer. Would you like to go with me? <gasps> not this summer, maybe the next one, but not this one, not this one. Okay, now it is your turn. Write down an invitation and write down the answer. Try to be polite. Invite someone to a place and then write down the answer too, okay? I'm waiting your participation through the chat box. Okay, would you like to go to the mall with me? Okay, and you are missing the, the, the answer, Osvaldo, okay. Okay, then, okay, you are, uh, you are um, writing just the invitation, okay? Osvaldo and Berta, teacher, would you like to go to the movie next Saturday? Sure, in the afternoon, it is perfect. Okay. <laughs> and to Osvaldo, would you like to go to the mall with me? Sure. Early in the morning. It is better. <laughs> Rose, would you like to eat sushi on Saturday with me? Rose, I would love to. But I don't like sushi that much. <laughs> Okay, now, nah. this is just, I'm showing you the way that we can answer, right? Mm -hmm. 
but that is true. I don't like sushi that much, believe me. And I have tried many, but I don't know why, but I don't really enjoy it. And then Valerie, would you like to go to Disneyland with me? Of course, I would like to go with you. Okay, you included the answer, very good. Okay, so we got some invitations now. Now, we are saying, right, we have another context, another possibility with this. Let us move on. Also, this is related to the previous one. Now you're going to see that all of them are related. A polite request. It means, I want, but it doesn't sound uh, very nice if I say, I want, okay? So, if we want to be polite, we better use, I would like. Let's see. I light request. When we are saying, I would like to play tennis on Saturday, what you are saying is, I want to play tennis on Saturday. And both are okay. I want to play tennis on Saturday. The difference is that the one is polite and the other one isn't, right? And then you say, hey, I'm thirsty. I want to drink some water. Or I'd like a drink, very polite. I'd like an orange, please. Can I have an orange? Not polite, but that is a need that you have. That is a request that you want an orange. You want to drink something. You want to play tennis. You have two options. Both are okay, but you have to be aware the difference. Now it is your turn in the chat box. I would do something and then what you want, similar to this. I'm waiting for your participation. I would like a glass of water, please. Okay, he decided to say it in a very polite way. Then Jennifer says, I would like to change my cell phone. <laughs> but that is, let's see. Yes, I want to change my cell phone. That is a wish that you have, okay? I would like to eat tacos. I want green tea. You have used both in the same sentence. That is okay. I would like to go to uh, to my dentist. I want to go to my dentist. Yes. But you don't have time. That is a problem, right? Okay, guys.
we have just more and many more examples. Polite requests. But I want, I want you to pay attention in one que se sale de la estructura from the rest. That is one. That is not the same from the, the rest of the examples. Can you guess what is that? Maybe would you mind telling me the time? That is the one. Why do you say that that is the difference from the rest, Jennifer? Excuse me? Why do you think that that is the one? The first sentences? Yes. No, why do you think that this is the different? Oh. What makes you think that this is the different? The bear, I am G. Uh-huh. Okay. Because we see the rest and then I'm saying, I'd like... You say, I'd like to go. Would you turn the music? Would you close? Would you translate? Would you pay attention? I would like some information. I'm feeling tired. I'd like to stay. But what about this one? This one has something different, and that is the ing form. It is because this expression would combined by you mind has like a different meaning. But of course, it is polite because we have wood. But it is very different first in the grammar structure and also in the way that we are going to use. It is not the same to use this than to use this. For example, would you close the door? What does it say in Spanish? I'm going to use the Spanish for you to understand it better. Podrías eh, abrir la puerta, por favor? Okay. What does it say in this one? Now in this one. ¿Te importaría darme la hora? Okay. That introduction. Te importaría, te molestaría. Okay, we can change with that. Eso no lo dicen las demás, right? The other ones, they say directly the action. Okay. Podrías cerrar. But in this one, te importaría, te molestaría. Decirme la hora. That is a very different, and it is different because after, would you mind, the verb has to be used in ing. Mm -hmm. Always. Always. And that is the difference with the rest because the rest 
they don't have ing but with this expression would you mind it is mandatory that the verb has to be in ing now it is your turn i want you to write down a question using would you mind would you mind okay write it down in the chat box please Okay, Berta. Would you would you mind? Y después de mind comes the verb in ing form. Okay, Rose. Would you mind sending the package for me? Very good. Would you mind opening the window? Excellent. Would you mind calling this night? Calling me, okay? Uh, calling me. Would you mind working tomorrow? Oh my God. <laughs> Berta, did you understand what you, we need to improve? Yes. Okay. Would you mind shopping pizza? for my dinner okay <laughs> in this case it is buying it is not shopping it is buying okay, would you mind buy. buying pizza for my dinner great would you mind eating this soup <laughs> you don't like it <laughs> Elsa okay yes okay we have different so whenever you are going to use that it is a request it is a request a polite request but if you are going to include mind you need to think about ing in the verb always 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 okay we have no options for this okay i've got the the alarm in this moment for the attendance. I'm going to stop sharing for a while. Otherwise, I just forget. Okay. Okay, guys. Berta Lilian del Carmen Centeno Portillo. Present. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Eric Isaac Chávez Hernández. Jennifer Elizabeth Evora Santos. Present teacher. Jessica Araceli Díaz Ruayos. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. José Adilson Vázquez García. Present teacher. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Kenia Lisset Barrera Hernández. Kenia Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Kerin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Present teacher. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. 
Present, voy manejando, teacher. Ok. Osvaldo Vladimir. Present. Garay Pineda. Present. Ok, sorry, me salté. Maximilian Madonai Flores Escobar. Patricia Concepción Alvarado López. Present. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Present. Valeria Michelle Monje Valencia. Present. Wilfredo Renderos León. Present. Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Present. And Amanda Gabriela Escobar. Okay. Okay, Jessica. Okay. Okay, this is what we have for practice, but I want to get to this one because this is very important and we need to understand that this um, grammar structure for the usage of wood is different from the rest. This, it is called conditional sentence. This is a conditional sentence. And the sentence is divided in two parts. Let's see. It says imaginary and conditional. Because if I read this, if I were rich, I will travel a lot. So it means that this is not true because it says, if I were rich, but the truth is that I am not rich. And if I am not rich, I cannot travel. But that's, this is something imaginary but at the same time it is conditional why do we call it conditional because we have two parts of the sentence one depends from the other one which one depends from the uh, other idea. Good. Okay. This will depend from this situation. What situation? If I were rich, that is a condition. If, if I were rich, I would travel. In the second, if I won the lottery, I would buy a fast card. If I were a doctor, I would work in a hospital. If I had finished my work, I would have left. If I were you, I wouldn't drink alcohol or wine. You would lose weight if you took more exercise. I would help you move house, but I have a backache. He would be here, but he has too much work at the moment. 
So all of them, all of the ideas, they have a condition. If something happens, the second idea is going to happen. But if the first idea doesn't happen, the second idea won't happen either. That is why they are called imaginary and conditionals. Now let's see, now we are going to try to understand. What can we see in the two different parts of these conditional sentences? What can we observe? The condition, if, if. Todas son en, eh, como en personal, o sea, siempre es todo sobre mí. No hay pronombres. Okay, in third person, some other person, right? Or for example, but I can say, if she, if he, if they, I can play with them in the same way. For example, if they were rich, they would travel a lot. If uh -huh. she were rich, she would travel a lot. I can change the, the, the pronoun with a person singular or with the other uh, pronouns. But now, if we study the grammar structure, I have to divide, I divide the sentence. I have two sentences. If I were rich, and the second sentence is, I will travel a lot. We can say that one is independent and the other one is dependent. Which one do you think it is the independent one? The first. I think uh, I think that the second sentences is um, independent because the first part is conditioning the the second part. Okay. For me, is is uh, depend. Okay. Now I'm going to improve my question. Which of the two sentences has a complete meaning by itself, sin contar con la otra. Which of the two sentences has a complete sentence, uh, sense in this case? The second. The second. Because the second sentence can survive and you understand the sentence. I will, I would uh, travel a lot. Yes, it has a complete sense. But what about if I read the first one? If I were rich, punto suspensivo, something is going to happen. The idea is not completed. Okay? So I need both ideas to have one. If I am going to think about punctuation, I can interchange and we have no troubles. For example, I can say, I will travel a lot if I were rich. I can interchange, but punctuation is going to change too. For example, I'm going to change and then I'm going to say, I'd would travel, travel a, lot. a lot if I, I were, were rich. rich. What was the change in punctuation? The comma. 
If I interchange it, and if I use, I would travel a lot. If I were rich, I don't use a comma. I don't use yes. a comma, okay? And both are okay. But there is something more in that first sentence. There is something more that you haven't realized yet. In this case, uh, well, I, I think that it's not necessary uh, they use the, the comma because it is the complement and that is a, 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 good, a good idea uh, complete in the in the sentences because if you uh pu putting in in a lot for example but um no quedaría completa la idea <laughs> no, it, it cannot be like that right yes so we need to 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 analyze this if i start with my independent sentence I am not going to use commas. But if I start with the if sentence, I need to use a comma. Okay? That yeah, is okay. what we have to take into consideration. But now there is something. Now let us analyze the grammar structure from all of them. I'm going to check this. Pay attention. No, okay. What do they have in common? Where? What do they have in common? Where, won, where, had, where? Past. Where? Past. Or the better past. All of them are in past, past simple. Yes. All of them. And now check. Present. We can say it in another way. Instead of saying present, we say base form. Present. Base form. Base form. All of them base. are in the base form. Or you say, okay, they are in present. Okay. Past, simple versus past. Present. Versus present, simple. Yeah. Past, simple. Present, simple. And this is, we need to respect. If I am going to use conditional, you know when you are going to use conditional, if in your sentence you are going to have if. If you have if, it is conditional. Why? Because in English, later you are going to analyze these sentences. We know this as the second conditional sentence. Todas están categorizadas. We have zero conditional sentences, first conditional sentences, second conditional sentences, third conditional sentences. So esta conditional sentence solamente es una del grupo de conditional sentences. What am I talking about this conditional sentence? Si no voy a hablar de todas las demás, because I am interested only because of the auxiliary would. Okay. Later on, you are going to study the rest of the conditional sentences. But in this one, that is type two, we are going to analyze the two sentences, past simple versus present simple. And there is another interesting aspect that you haven't realized. 
Tell me. Answer this question. Where were you yesterday night at 9 p.m.? Where were you yesterday night at 9 p.m.? Answer in, in the my chat English box. Class. Okay. Complete, complete sentence and answer in the chat box because there is something important in there. I were in my English. I was having dinner. Okay. That is the advantage that you have, that you can eat <laughs> while you are in class, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, that is an advantage. Good things. <laughs> Okay, what about the others? What were you doing? Oh no, I I, I didn't ask. I where were you? Okay. Jennifer says I were in my English class. Osvaldo says, well, I can understand. I can infer that maybe you were in your house, Osvaldo, because you say I was having dinner. But maybe you can have dinner out of your house. Okay. Okay, I want good friends. Okay. Okay, guys, the question is, where were you yesterday? I'm going to type it. I think that that is maybe the mistake. I'm going to say, where were you Yesterday night at 9 p.m. Okay. Abilson says that I was studying, okay? So he was studying. Osvaldo was studying. Um, Adilson was studying. Osvaldo was having dinner. Jennifer was in the English class. What about the others? Where were you yesterday night at 9 a.m.? P.m., sorry. No more answers, only three answers. So, how do I say? I was or I wear? Which is the correct way to say it? Uh huh. What did the ocean? I was or I wear. In past simple. I was. I was or I wear. Elsa says wear, but she wrote I was. I was checking my notes. Checking. In this case, it is progressive. Um. Jose Addison says, I was studying. Osvaldo says, I was having dinner. 
So which is the correct way? I was or I wear? For me, I was. Okay, for Berta, it was. Why, Berta? Because it's past. It is past simple, right? Right. And, and for past simple, we said I was. For the pronoun. Aha, uh -huh. so is it correct what? to say I was or I were? Which is the correct one? I was. If you check all the grammar structures about past simple, look there from your phone, past simple with to be, I was. Mm. Y entonces pues, si was it is the correct, y entonces porque en todas estas oraciones yo tengo where. ¿Qué pasa aquí? Are they correct? Are they incorrect? No, all of them are correct. What happens is that for conditional sentences, we use I wear. For the conditional sentences, I'm going to change and instead of saying I was, I'm going to say where. If I were, and the same happens with the third person singular. If, is, if this were, a third person singular sentence, and instead of saying, if I were a doctor and I got he, if he were a doctor, he would work in the hospital. Conditional sentences are the ones that allow us to use this. Okay. Yes. So that is what yep. we have here with the conditional sentences. Check this because now we are going to see some exercises that we have from the book. But in the book, we don't have the second part of the sentences. In the book, you have only this. You have only, I will travel a lot. I would buy a fast car. I would work in the hospital. I would have left. I wouldn't drink alcohol for wine. But in the book, we don't have the if sentence. And that's why you are going to work with them in the book. Now, let us see if I have the book here. I don't find it. I don't find it. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. In your book, on your page number, let's see, 26. Page 26. We have this. Would and would like to. All of us have understood that would like to. It is I want to. Right? I want to change this product. I want to. Um, no. Or, or it is what I want. I want to or I don't want to. I would like to. Yes, right? I want to change this product. I want to buy uh, here again. I want to come back here. And I want to get a refund. 
on the other side, we have, I would change this product. He would buy here again. He wouldn't stay in this place or he, uh, or would you give me more information? At least these four, we have to look for the conditional sentence. We need to make the complement with the if. That is what you are going to do in this moment. You are going to look for the if sentences de estas tres. I would change this product, he would buy there again, and he wouldn't stay in this place. ¿Cómo sería la condicional de esta? ¿Ok? Vamos a ir a trabajar con sus compañeros. Una cosa va a suceder. O despiertan o se duermen. <laughs> ok. Yeah. Ok. Let's see. But I'm going to do it on my own because let's see. Valerie, Berta, Rose, you three. Um, Elsa, Osvaldo, and Jennifer, only you. Okay, let us go and work. Was or if I were. Pero creo que, según entendí, creo que es de usar if I were. Sí. Ajá. Podríamos poner que como que si tuviera tiempo podría cambiar este producto, algo así. No sé. Yo creo que Berta, Berta está hablando, pero no se oye porque tiene el micrófono apagado. Ay. Hola, hola. ¿Estaba hablando? No. Ah, ok, ok. Sorry. Ok, sí, podemos poner si... Sí. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo dijiste? Si tuviera tiempo. Ajá, no sé, si tuviera tiempo podría... Podría ir a cambiar el producto, algo así. Sí.
Warren Wright. ¿Qué dice ahí? Que a ellos no les gustaría que regresar ahí. Ajá, estar en ese lugar. Estar. Estar. Está ahí, está ahí en este lugar. A no ellos no les gustaría. Ah, no, a, a nosotros. Va a desvolver, a nosotros. ¿verdad? ¿Cómo? Sí, a nosotros es. Uy, nosotros, nosotros. Nosotros no estaríamos en este lugar. Ajá, ajá. Y ahí sería como con if. Ajá. If y... we cómodos o bien como para decir si nosotros no nos sintiéramos bien nosotros no estaríamos aquí o sea como decir que si te gusta dónde estás ya yeah. entonces sería uh -huh. if we were feel ajá uh -huh. if We were feel good. Mm -hmm. Si usa we were, wouldn't... No, no puede utilizar feel. Porque okay. el, 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 el spa simple con el was o con el where no lleva otro verbo. Podemos usar eh, cómodos. If they were not comfortable. Or if they were comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can say that. Yes. Okay. Please. Okay, if were. Sí. Y like it, algo así. Veamos, Yo creo que es al revés, cuando se habla de una tercera persona, después de la coma es el complemento, no, uh -huh. al, no al inicio. No, oh, entonces sería, así como lo escribiste, coma porque le gustó la tienda. Uh -huh. Creo que sí. Ok. Y... Okay. Yeah. Okay, guys, we are coming back. Take notes.
Okay, now we are here. Okay, guys, now let us check what you wrote about these three sentences. Just check if your complements were like coherent, right? Now let us see. We have, I would change this product. The if part, what would it be? If, if there were more products? If there were more products, I would change this product. I would change I would change this one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Another? The other if, two? If I was the producer. If I if I was the producer. The producer. Okay, but producer. if I was or if I were. If I were the producer. Mm -hmm. If I were the producer, I would change this I would product. Change the product. Okay, it means that you don't like it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Even though. <laughs> okay, good. He would buy there again. If the attention of the place were better, he would buy there again, buy there again. <laughs> yes. Okay, good. Good compliment. Okay. The other team? Rose? Hey. I know the other team. No lo terminamos, teacher. No lo terminaron? Oh my God. Estábamos justo en eso. Es que estábamos tratando de recordar las preguntas, la, el complemento, porque no le tomamos captura. Oh my God. Okay. Sure. Yes. Other option. Yes. Maybe if she had money. Okay, if he, if he had money, he would buy there again. Yes, yes. it is a good option. It is yes. a good option. Yes. Okay, in the last one, he wouldn't stay in this place. If we were comfortable, we wouldn't stay in this place. Okay. If we were comfortable, we wouldn't stay in this place. Yes. Any other option? If we had money. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yes. We wouldn't stay in this place, right? Okay. Yes. Yeah, okay. That is just One... a one question. Yes. Um, in Spanish, observe que cuando yo quiero o la condicional es en plural, change. Eh, de opción es como que estuviera hablando en singular y cuando es en singular me da la opción como en plural. No. We can say, we no can say, no, I can say, if I were, if she were, if they were, all of them, they keep the same. Okay. All of them are the same. Where, 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 for all the subjects. For ah, all okay. the pronouns. Okay. 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 Now you are going to do something individual. I'm going to um, 
post a link about this. And this is related to the second conditional. And this is what you are going to do in this right moment. Okay. Screenshot to the uh, results, please, here in the chat box. Okay. Okay, I've got now the first one. I have another one. Eight out of ten. Good.
Now, again, everyone is getting the result now, right? So I've got Pertas, Elsa. <laughs> Berta, <laughs> how was that possible? So it means that we have to practice with this, okay? Okay, now we have here like uh, complete the following statements or equations. Now it depends from what you want to uh, make it um, or to have the context, right? For example, we can have, we can answer this or everyone here together just to have a logic, logical answer. Let's see. I can say that I would like to, and immediately when I say I would like to, it is I want to. What can be a logical answer here? Any idea that comes to your mind? I would like to I visit like... my, my grandmother's house. Okay, I would like to visit, visit my grandmother's house, okay? You understand. <laughs> then number two, number number two, it is Mr. Trujillo wouldn't, aha, uh -huh. and this is similar to this. Mr. Trujillo wouldn't is similar to this. Receive the calling. Receive. Or attend. Or attending. Or attend the the call. The code. Uh, the atten and the attender llamadas. Okay. Make calls. Okay. Make calls. So Mrs. Mr. Trujillo wouldn't make calls. He, yes. he wouldn't make calls, pero me haría falta la segunda parte que sería de la condicional, right? Remember that in that part we are missing the conditionals. After afternoon or after no, no. at... No, listen, listen. The, the conditional, the conditional, the condition. Mr. Mr. Trujillo no wouldn't have... make... He wouldn't make calls if 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 were if he were sick. Yes. Right? yes. Okay. Yes. So Mr. Trujillo wouldn't make for uh calls if he were sick. Remember that we can have the if clause not only with the verb to be. If we use the verb to be, it has to be in where, not was. That is the only thing. Now number three. Would she? This is a question. This is similar to this one to this one. Was she? Where is she? Was she? Would she would give me give me information? Would she? Good. Uh, yeah, go to better go to give me information. Ya tenemos ya tenemos la información la introducción aquí. So we have would she? Aquí sería would she? Entonces sería would she give me? Ah, okay. Would she give me? 
Me rey. Will she give me that information? No, a saber de quién, but that information. Um, Will she give me that information? And then we have a negative that it is similar to this. Aquí le podemos poner like, because it is similar. So, pero aquí está mal deletreado, vean. Aquí es wouldn't. Aquí es wouldn't. She wouldn't. She wouldn't like. She the wouldn't beach. like. She wouldn't like el verbo. Mm. Makeup. Yes. She wouldn't like to. To make up. Really? <laughs> if uh, I I know. Oh, I uh, I know the the girls that that prefer no no makeup. Not to make I up. prefer this natural, <laughs> but but no is my case. No is my okay. case. <laughs> okay, she wouldn't like to make up. It's my case. It is your case. Yes, so I don't like the makeup. It is my case too. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> okay, good. Number four, with like to, with like to, with like to. So it means I want to. Wall, wall, they. With, with like to. Like to sing the song. Okay. Would like to sing the song or would like to sing a song. What song? I don't know. Anywhere. Any <laughs> a, anyone. <laughs> okay, then. Anyone. And the last one again, there is a mistake. It is no world. It is wood. Would you like? Would you like to eat? <laughs> okay. Would you like to eat tacos? Yes. Okay. Would you like to eat tacos? Yes, I would like to. Okay, guys. Now, in this grammar structure, and indeed, we are going to talk about something here. This question, I cannot get this. In this question, we have this word, refund. What is a refund? Do you remember what a refund is? What is no, a refund? Don't. don't you remember from yesterday? Refund. What is refund? Una devolución. No, una... Como que le devuelvan el dinero. That's it. That is a refund. That is a refund. Okay, so we are going to talk about a refund. I have already started the exercise. For example, it says, write a five line paragraph about what you would do in case a customer wants the refund to do a bad service of the product. Tiene que aplicar devolución, okay? A refund, devolución de money. Okay, pero ahí dice, what would you do, okay? What would you do if, if a customer wants the refund do a bad service of the product? I have studied the sentence and then I said, well, if, if a customer wants to get the refunds due to the bad service, the first step, I will fill out a format. Number two, number three, number four, and number five. According to the exercise, it says that we have to write down five lines, okay? 
de lo que vamos a hacer. Aquí ya comencé con la conditional sentence. No van a tener que repetirlo, ¿ok? Vean, ya comencé aquí. If a customer wants to get a, a refund to the bus service, I will fill out a format. Ustedes le van a poner otras. Cuatro complementos. Bless you. De acuerdo mm -hmm. al If a customer wants to get the refund to a bad service. Do you understand? Yes. Otras razones para yes. tener devolución. Exactamente. Yo ya les escribí una. Lo que, lo que, um, lo que se debe hacer. Porque aquí dice, la pregunta del ejercicio es, What you would do, ¿qué haría usted? If a customer wants the refund. Yo ya le puse la primera, que es formalidad. If a customer wants to get the refund, I will fill out a format como primer paso. ¿Qué más podríamos hacer if he or she wants the refund? Ok. Let us complete the exercise. In the chatbot? No, with your classmates. Ah, with okay. your classmates. With your classmates. You have to think about four more.
Yo le ofrecería sí, a la garantía. Son cinco las que, ah, excelente, ajá. Yo le ofrecería garantía o le devolviera la garantía. Sí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero, ¿cómo ponemos eso? <risa> More garantía. ¿Pero sería de devolver garantía o cómo? ¿O ofrecer más no, garantía? De ampliar la garantía. Ah, como okay. por más... Veamos, veamos. <coughs> ampliar más garantía. En el, el o para que te puedan hacer la devolución ya yeah. como una acción más eh, activa pedirle, ¿no? pedirle al cliente que te entregue la factura de devolución algo así ah ¿También? también ajá sí entonces I will to I will To ask give for the or to ah uh, no en este caso esto sería I will to um uh -huh, I will to give the eh, el cliente el no, el, que, el comprobante de pago cómo se podría decir eso bill uh -huh. uh -huh. vamos super ¿Cómo I, dijiste? Um, I, mm, Se lo voy a mandar como... aquí lo que me dice. Ok. Have you finished, ladies? No, the chair. Not no yet. Uno. Okay. Okay, I can wait. I'll go over from the payment of the warranty. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué otra la que sería? Ya no te volví a ver. Falta la última. Ya le, ya ofrecimos una visita al cliente. Ya. Um, decía que can is polite, cool is more polite, y may is other level. <laughs> Pero del mais no tengo. Ajá, es que como que might es más certero que, que might. Eso sí me recuerdo. Mm. Might, might, it, it is like a possibility. Possibility, yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, have you finished, guys? Yes. Yes, yes, yes teacher. Yes. Okay, okay.
Okay, be ready, guys. We're coming back. Okay, everyone is here now. Okay, I know it was a little bit of uh, difficult, but you, I think that you could finish, right? Okay, guys, now I'm going to share and then you just tell me. Okay, what do you have as a second option? I will create, I will have to create a case for a found. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. What else? In my group. Yeah, that's what I'm reading in this moment, okay? I will refund the payment. I would offer a discount. Oh my God. <laughs> Para retenerlo. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, I would offer a discount. I would uh, refund the payment anyways, right? Okay, good. And what about the other team? What would you say? What would you do? I would check the product. I would check the product. Mm -hmm. I will call the supervisors in charge. That's it. Good. Okay, very good. So you have different activities that we can do if, if this happens, right? Okay, right. now we were uh, talking about the refund and I just want to show you that we have, for example, I have here, no, it is not here. It is from here. Okay. This is like a sample of a customer refund request. Uh, this is what I wrote at the beginning. I said, well, I'm going to fill out the customer form, right? A customer refund request. So when they want to, uh, when they are asking about their refund, we start like typing this information. This form can be different from this one. This is just a sample from many. It depends of the company, right? They have different formats, different forms, different templates. That's what I wanted to say. But in this case, this is just one of them. We have, for example, the order and date, the order ID, the order to pay, and the contact information, right? When they want to uh, call, because maybe they are going to visit. One of you said about that, to visit, right, the, the customer. Well, this is just for you to check it, okay? Any question, guys? No. At all. <laughs> okay. So we are going to list. Yes, that's what I'm going to start. I'm going to look for it in this moment. Okay. But give me a second. Mm 
before going to the attendance. I want to show you this. This is just to share. I know that you know the way that you have worked with this. These are the results that we have, right? I have here, for example, homework assignment one, homework assignment two, and then we are going to have a homework assignment three. So it means that you have to have the 100% of these activities, right? For example, uh, for the second week, most of you have already done it, right? Most of you. The first week, there are some that you haven't completed them yet. Let's see. So you better continue working, right? You have all the activities in here, guys but don't forget to complete them because immediately when we finish, this is going to be closed for you. And then you're not going to have like extra time to complete it. So you better keep working on it, right? Because tomorrow right. we have the second week. So you better do it. Okay, guys. Now... The attendants, Berta Lilian del Carmen Centeno Portillo. Present. <laughs> okay. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Eric Isaac Chavez Hernández. Jennifer Elizabeth Evora Santos. Present teacher. Jessica Arceli Díaz Rubayos. Present. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. José Adilson Vázquez García. Presente, Chero. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Presente. Kenia Lisset Barrera Hernández. Kenia Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Um, Erin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Presente. Erin. Okay. Dígame. Erin, estábamos eh, revisando ahí los trabajos en la plataforma. Uh, póngale cuidado, ¿ok? Ya hablé con Mireia. Mireia. Ajá. Sí, lo que pasa es que ahorita estoy en informe final, lo que le expliqué la, la vez pasada, informes finales okay. de, de proyectos. Pero sí, entre hoy y mañana los voy a trabajar para, para no trazar nada más. Eso, para ir al día, Perfecto. nada más. Perfecto. Ok, querido. Thank you. Ok, anytime. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Presente. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Matthew, are you here? Okay, Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Present. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. Patricia Concepción Alvarado López. Present. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Valeria Michelle Monje Valencia. Present. Present. Se presionaba el botón. <risa> ok. Wilfredo Renderos León. Present. Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Present. And Amanda Gabriela Escobar. Present. Ok, guys. So, that's all for today's class. Thank you very much for your participation. Okay. And... Uh, See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Take, Take care. care Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.